Alrighty, everybody. We've basically finished the base game the Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. But this is Rise from the Ashes. My goodness, this is... I, I think you can tell... Mm. This already feels more elaborate, this whole cutscene, so... Oh cool, kind of a little bit showing who the killer is, but like not a lot. Like, sort of shape of her head. Actually, I shouldn't even say her, I don't know. It could have been a somewhat effeminate man there, but... Uh, still, you know, shape of their head there a little bit, but... Um, yeah. Cool. So yeah, I... I you know, I've... Um, kind of talked a little bit about this. Uh, initially, you know, you may recall when we were, like, doing Turnabout Samurai, I was like, um, man, I wish this game was longer. You know, once I realized that there was only four cases in the original game, and then this extra case. It's a bit of a dual-edged thing. The, um, the base game was still pretty long and very satisfying, the whole story arc, throughout the first four cases. So now I'm having a bit of a be-careful-what-you-wish-for mindset. Like, is this final additional um, case going to compare positively to what we played through earlier, or is it gonna feel like a tacked on thing? I don't know, I, I, I can't say for sure, but I feel like I do still want to play this at least. If for nothing else, posterity's sake, you know. Bit of conflict confliction on my part, but yeah, I do want to play this to see it. Just again, just so if people don't know, this, um, the original Ace Attorney came out on the Game Boy Advance and it had four cases on it. This one appeared on the DS. I guess you could call it a remake. They updated it um, for the DS when then they re-released it as a DS version and they added a fifth case to that, that which is this one. In fact this whole game is based on the DS version like I've seen pictures of the Game Boy Advance version which is uh, tellingly you know different looking um, not as high def you know which is fine I don't mind that but you know you can tell that there's a difference in the graphical look and quality um, and, and like I was saying it there just now as we watch that cutscene uh, it seems like this opening cutscene was immediately a lot fancier than the one in the first four again using that DS power to make it it's a little bit more popping let's get into the case shall we try to figure out what is going on what could possibly happen next in Phoenix's life Apart from all the other games that come, I guess. <laughs> the, like, five games after this one? Yeah, there's like six Ace Attorney games. Not counting all the spin-offs, I guess. So, let's go in. It's been two months since Maya left the office. Oh yeah, that happened too. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't give a recap of the previous case. Uh, Edgeworth was saved. Maya left. It was sad. Manfred von Karma was the actual bad guy. We sent him packing. Yay. I, I screwed up once, got a game over. Definitely a lot of screw-ups on my part, not the game being obtuse. Yeah. This time, though, this time we're gonna rock this case. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. Okay, it is indeed almost two months. We can round it up to two months. It is February the 22nd. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Look at this existentialism from Phoenix. Poor guy. I wonder why he's so... I, I guess Maya leaving him kind of left him a little shook or something? I don't know. Like, like that was a slam dunk, that last case, that we beat it as well as we did, so... Eh. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. Oh, someone goes, there you are, finally. Oh, okay. Um... Hmm, do we have this person on court record yet? Oh, that's cute, we have Edgeworth and Gumshoe on the record, but no, I don't know. 
don't know anything about this character yet. Some kind of bit of a nerdy character. Seems like seems like she has like little beakers there at the bottom. Like I would have been sure if that's a lab coat at first, but now there's like I can see some vials of something there at the bottom there. So yeah, no, right, that's fine. Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Uh, uh, um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey. Um, <laughs> wow, she has uh, not kept up with the news, has she? Unfortunate. Also, hmm, well, I guess Phoenix could pass for a Mia, maybe. Oh, uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? I'm sorry, but uh, Ms. Mia Fey no longer works here. So you are the copy boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Oh, that's really cute. She's taking notes. <laughs> she's got a little... Those are trendy, trendy glasses she's got. <laughs> that's really fun. Wait, you're the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. Oh, that's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But uh, you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney. Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time! But... Please, you have to help! It's my sister! Ah. Oh, I get it. Right. Maya? Could it be? Right, I see that's what makes Phoenix, like, connect with this character. Because the whole shared... Shared trauma, I guess. Of this sisterly relationship. Oh man, like two people whose sister has gotten murdered. Or, or did she say that the sister was on trial? I, I actually, I forgot already. Whoops. <laughs> uh, well, well, I'm sure we'll find out in just a minute, so. Okay, I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much. My name's Emma. Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Ooh, that sounds really fancy. Scientific investigator? Uh-huh. Okay, well, let's... First of all, let's do the traditional of looking around the room, and then we'll get to chatting up Ms. Sky. Difficult-looking legal books standing in a formidable row. They mock me. I tried reading one, and it made my head hurt. When I closed it, it slipped out of my hand. Then my foot hurt, too. Glad to see these haven't changed, even after everything that happened in the last few cases. There's a poster of the Steel Samurai on the wall. Maya stuck it up here on the day that she left. I didn't have the heart to take it down. Oh gosh, that's changed. That's really sad. Aw oh, man, her glasses are so cool. The freaking rose-tinted, like, super, like... Lavendery, Man, that's so rad. I do sometimes get strange looks from the clients, though. <laughs> I don't know, I looked like uh, Miss Sky was really into this poster. By that excited look, honestly. Must be a Steel Samurai fan. Who would it be? What a hero. Mia's plant. Charlie. I've been taking care of him in Maya's absence. Well, as sad as it is, I also do appreciate them showing that they've updated some of this stuff now that Maya's gone. Kind of nice little detail, that. Mia's desk. I sit here even less now that I've stopped taking cases. I ought to at least dust it off once in a while. Yeah, this is kind of a, this is kind of a mystery right at the start of the case. Like, why did Phoenix stop taking cases? 
uh, especially like like I'm, I'm so confused since the trial went so well, the Edgeworth trial in the end. But I, I is it is it really just the case that Maya Maya's like leaving him really affected him that much? I, I guess it's possible. I, I guess so. Looks like it's cleaning day again at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planning a second branch outside the city. Egads! The bellboy was staring right at me! Ugh, that's a little creepy. Alright, so, Ms. Sky. Let's talk about you first. Emma, was it? So, you're a scientific investigator. Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just... You seem kind of, uh, jumpy. Or maybe just... young? Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. You know, that explains she's got those, like, peppy pins and things, like, on her jacket, I guess. I mean, I say that, but I am a grown man and I walk around in public with a hat covered in pins, so I guess... I, I guess that doesn't really say anything at all, now that I think about it. But she's just, you know, you know, she's got this, like, you know, like I said, this peppiness to her. Which maybe doesn't quite... Wouldn't be what you'd expect from a more established, quote-unquote, scientific investigator. My work is becoming quite well known. At my age, no less. Ah, so what exactly is your current position, then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. Hold on, does that add up? Um, Wait a second, there isn't an 11th grade. There's like a 10th grade if you need, like, remedial classes before going to high school, and then you're just in high school. What? Unless... Unless something's different in... somewhere else in the world that I don't know about. Maybe, maybe... Does Japan slash America have an 11th grade? Am I completely lost on that front? Huh. But I'm ready to do my job. At my age, no less. Right, another future professional in training. Yeah, they're kind of like doing like, um... She feels kind of like, I, I don't mean this as a negative, but she feels like here's the surrogate Maya in a lot of ways. And I don't mean that negatively at all, because I like the fact that she's like this scientist, so she's like also like really contrasting with Maya, who was in the world of the supernatural, if, if you get my drift. Also, I'm like, I, I like super love this character design if I haven't like made it clear yet. Like such a fun, like, like, like I said, the whole like, she's like a scientist, but she's like groovy is like really, really, really cool. So yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm pointing out the similarities to Maya. I'm not like docking points for this character for that yet. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's talk about the case. So, what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it! She wouldn't stab someone with a knife! She wouldn't! Okay, cool. Got that covered? She, the mur sister is not the murder victim in this case. She is the prime suspect, by the sounds of it. So, it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it! I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. <laughs> J just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Mia Faye, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? Also, how would they not know that Mia has been dead for, like... It's been like half a year at this point in the game, I think. It was like around... It was like around October when Mia died. Okay, so not like half a year, but like like four months. That's a long time. Cool, we can still keep talking to her. Let's go. So you want to be a scientific investigator, or, or when you grow up then? 
I excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigation should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure can't fault her for a lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. But not before we talk about her relation to Mia. My sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Fey person was a few years below her in school. So they went to the same school, huh? Okay, that checks out. Like, I guess Mia would have already had aspirations to be a lawyer at that time, so I guess... Uh, the, 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 the sister. Yeah, we don't actually know the sister. So some, some Sky, I assume, would, in fact, uh, know Mia, then. And know about her plans to be... Be a, uh, a sister. I, I, uh, be a sister? What? Be, be an attorney, I guess. <laughs> she always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And, well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. We must be close. Uh-oh. That's not good. Even the music faded out. Huh? Well... Actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But... But she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Yikes. No more to elaborate on that, but again, the Maya parallels? Coming on thick here. Curious that. Alright, so, um, let's see if I can... I don't have anything to present. Do we have... No, I'll just do it anyway. See this? It's my attorney's badge. Ah, well, I've never seen a real one before. You're the first one who's actually been interested in mine, believe me. Its composition is mostly silver. The gold plating is flaking a bit. She analyzed it. Scientifically. There doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to sulfides. I'd give you $50 for it. <laughs> I'm just taking rigging notes about it, that's so funny. Sorry, but it's not for sale. Yet. Hmm. Alright. Oh yeah, I guess I could go to the court record here. Alright, so we have have Emma Sky here. High school junior and self-styled scientific investigator. I will accept no investigators, only investigators. Alright, well I guess I'm just gonna leave you in the office and we're gonna go to the detention center. Or, I, well, I don't know, probably... Probably uh, Miss Sky is gonna tag along with us, so... Let's go. Yeah, yeah, okay, I kind of I kind of figured that would happen. Huh. I wonder what's wrong with Emma. Well, she did just mention that she actually has a strained relationship with her sister, so, yeah. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Uh-oh. I don't know. This must be the sister, but I don't have any picture of a reference. I don't know what she's supposed to sound like. S -s Sorry, ma'am. It's just your sister. Wow, she's being blunt. No excuses. Or did you not want to raise this year? Wow, what? Oh, so maybe the school that the sister was in with, with uh, Mia was some kind of law school? Because it sounds like she's involved in 
if she's if she's handling payments for the guards, she must be involved in law somehow. Uh, understood, ma'am. What was that all about? Whoa, what? What is with those epaulets? I'm sorry, I, I, I must be mistaken. She must be involved in military or something. <laughs> because Jesus. Uh, hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing. Uh, look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow, and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Whoa, that's so weird. Cause... Lana, I guess? She... She also looks a lot like me... Yeah, with like Mia, yeah. Like, Emma was similar to Maya. Um, like, I guess a character trait. But now we have a character who looks... Weirdly similar. That's so weird. I, I get. I guess they must be. This is deliberate on the on the developers of the game that they're making these character parallels. So good job. I'm now very interested in seeing where this case goes. But like, it's also it's really weird. Isn't that right, Mr. Rot? Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. What exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. Damn, that that's... That's pretty big. Also amazing that we haven't bumped into her previously. Given all the um, shenanigans we've been having with the law and prosecutors. Y you're a prosecutor? Also, another contrast with Mia. It's just like, okay, like this is like Edgeworth and Edgeworth and Phoenix, like their relationship to some extent then, with Lana and Mia then. Fascinating. I really, I would have taken her for a Prussian general, judging from this outfit. <laughs> I would not have expected <laughs> rigging prosecutor, but sure. <laughs> Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Look, even Phoenix is picking up on the odd similarities here. Emma. Lana. I mean, they're just like... Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Uh, everything's good, good, you weird, weird, weird doppelganger of the people I knew previously. Man, now my mind is spinning. There must be a hundred fanfics of this already on the internet, but oh my god, do I... I, I, I so want, like, a, a story... Like, I want a Mia Fey game, where it's Mia against Lana. Like, that would be so interesting. Now that we know, like, like goddamn, they've got me. With just, like, this short character introduction here. <laughs> this guard monitor is the visitor's room. He's frozen in fear of the frigid Miss Lana. I'm feeling a bit chilly myself. Yeah, well, apparently she handles the payment for that guard, so, yeah. Smile for the camera. We've done that before. Okay, should I present my badge? Now nah, let's, let's do the talks first. There's something you should know from the start. Oh, which is? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait! But the suspect... The suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, you know, we saw that shadowy figure in the promo for this case. Did, in fact... The outline did, in fact, resemble the head of Lana Sky. So, yeah. Well... Why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? Of course, now... The game's got me trained. I'm gonna have my eyes open for any other character who has a similar head shape 
to to uh, the elder Miz guy here, just in case um, you know it's a fake out. Um, she is the elders. She must be because she's like chief prosecutor and Emma's still in high school, right? Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I questioned that. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> yes. This. <laughs> Look at this obvious 13-year-old here, you know, <laughs> younger sister to him. <laughs> oh, man. I think... I, th I think I should get more rest before I record these episodes, shouldn't I? Fucking <laughs> stupid. Uh, okay. The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15pm. That's quite specific. It was in the witness's deposition. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Ah, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. In the prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car trunk? Classy. I was arrested on the spot. Caught red-handed, as it were. Well, that's just great. Well, now we know everything. That's pretty amazing. I hope we get some kind of, like, case file just to have the summation, but... Last night... Killed... A lot. Let's, let's get that... Let's get that run through one more time. I, I, I gotta... Okay. Yesterday... Witness saw her. Underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. Body was in the trunk. Okay. Okay, I got the facts now. Although I hope that date get, date and time gets repeated later on, I hope. So, who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. Oh no! Not gumshoe! I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Oh god, if it's actually Gumshoe, I'm gonna start throwing furniture. Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By... you. Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What? Mr. Wright, what does it mean? Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means to their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. This certainly is interesting, like it is a an escalation after everything else. Like one where the witness, uh, sorry, not the witness, the, the, the suspect just straight up is cold admitting to the murder all throughout. And indeed, a cop killing, so wow. Well, let's try to understand you, Ms. Sky. So, you're the chief prosecutor? Does that make her Edgeworth's boss? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by prosecutors in this district. I'll make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities, in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. Freaking, you know, freaking a um, carib nut, I think. Or a uh, bra brazil, bra brazil nut, brazil nut, bra bra brazilian nut? Br Brazil nut? Br let, let, let's get off this track. Also, if you watch the movie uh, The Rundown, you know that in Brazil they just call them nuts. So, there you go. <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Oh dear, did we offend her? Um, Lana, what happened to your hand? Oh, good eye. It's a little, um, wrapped up. Oh, this? I cut myself by accident. 
uh, when I stabbed him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna say, like, uh... I was gonna say that, uh, yeah, I guess being a prosecutor, but we just sent one to, to uh, jail for life, who was quite the criminal, so, yeah. How am I supposed to defend this? 